video, I am going to be giving you guys seven tips on what you can do to run your own online art business. Or if you already have an online art shop, it doesn't even have to be art. It can be fashion, um, hair, makeup, whatever it is. Maybe you want a little guidance or just some tips that would be helpful to grow your business and expand more. The reason why I am so passionate about making this video today is as many of you guys know we are quarantined something i have realized during quarantine is that all the stores are closed all of us are mostly at home and most of us are ordering online that would be the perfect opportunity for you to turn your passion to turn your hobby into a business and if you already have a business to just expand and grow more so let's dive right in first tip and most important this is the most important tip is do your research anything that you put yourself into anything any kind of job you want if you're gonna go to school starting a business you need to know the material in business it is constantly evolving there's always new things that change in the business industry always study the market always study what's selling always study what's trending right now one of the things that i did when i got started was i got a lot of books one of the few books that i actually started reading how to sell your art online um, by corey huff those are one of my favorite books it helped me so much when i first started it gave me so much guidance and it gave me so many tips and tricks on what i needed to do also another thing is there's workshops that you can learn about that cover instagram marketing workshop that cover over you know how you take product photos how you market your art on instagram on different platforms um what you can do to create a website what you can do as far as your packaging so many things guys that I, I highly recommend you the shopify academy moving on to my second tip obtain an llc or copyright or get any type of legal licenses now this is important because when you are starting a business you are gonna have to pay for taxes you're gonna have to file for taxes you want to separate your business income with your um, personal income. You don't want to get your business finances and personal finances to get mixed up. Um, it can get you into a lot of legal problems just in case if you were to ever get sued. Your personal assets will be fine and it will not be harmed. So that is why it's recommended also in part to get an LLC and to have a business account. And you really want to do separate both of those. If you're selling artwork, you really want to do get trademark and copyright. Um, so big companies or anyone can't steal your art. I highly recommend using LegalZoom. That is what I used when I first started. Also, you guys keep track of your expenses. Something I kind of messed up on was not really keeping track of my expenses. Um, there's ways you can do it. Ebooks is really good. It's a really good way to track your expenses for tax purposes. Once you're filing for your taxes, you can really get that reducted when you keep track of your business expenses. So maybe like, you know, car mileage that you needed to use to go to a meeting or um, to get coffee break, like literally everything, um, you know, supplies, packaging, um, stuff that you bought to invest your business like a printer print paper Supplies for your art, whatever it is Keep all of that down and track that. Now moving on to tip number three getting your own website when you're starting out I Really recommend please even if you're a small business and you're just starting out you really want to have a website It will make you look professional it's so much easier for people to just browse and look on a website My current favorite website that I use is Shopify Shopify keeps track of so much on my sales on my conversion It is great for marketing. They offer so much workshops for um, your business and what you can do to grow your audience, what you can do to boost your sales. So many things, it's so, it covers so much about marketing and it really helps you keep on track. That is my favorite, it's easy to take. 
your business serious. You know why I say this is because if you do not take yourself serious, this is the way I see it. You go into a job interview, right? And you want that job. When you come in there, are you gonna come in there with your pajamas? No, you're gonna dress for the part and you're gonna let that hiring manager know, like I am being serious about this job, I want this job, so I'm gonna look the part, I'm gonna do the part, and I wanna get the job, and then you get the job. That is the same thing, that's the same method you need to apply for your business. And what I mean, that covers every single thing, guys. The way you market yourself, you need to be professional. How you run your website. So you want to make sure you're taking clean photos. Your customer service skills. So your potential client, your potential customer, how you talk to them. You want to talk you want to be professional, you want to be friendly, and you want to be nice. The way you package your item, um, if you package something, you know, super nice, as if you're receiving something from like a Gucci store, or like one of, what I, I don't even know why I said Gucci, but one of like your stores, you know, like when you're ordering stuff, your package comes not only with the product, but it comes with like a, a business card, it can come with a little catalog, um, postcards for you know on deals sales um you know even the wrapping paper everything is packaged nicely all of that comes into play because once you start doing that and once you start taking yourself serious other people are going to notice that and other people are going to take you serious definitely got me returning customers i have gotten a lot of returning customers just because when you take yourself serious other people will and they will trust your product my fifth tip that i highly recommend is taking product photos take the investment take the time take the energy to take good product photos i'm pretty sure most of you guys probably know this as you know instagram has been like this magazine now where everybody wants to take those bomb ass photos with the good lighting you know the golden hour all that stuff please apply that into your products if you take a bad quality photo if the lighting is crappy if um I don't know you you took a weird angle of it um it does kind of stray away your potential customers your potential clients what i highly recommend is you to use a white background drop that is something where if you notice for example if you shop on amazon everywhere you go on amazon everything is white like the background is white and the reason why it's something i've learned in business is because um, when you do use like a white background or a simple background, it really helps your products to not be biased. Like what I mean by biased is that um, the customer will not form, it's less likely for a customer to not form like a biased opinion on the product. So for example, if you want your product to sell and reach to, you know, many people, different kind of demographics, um, and not just like a certain aesthetic. How would I put this in words? For an example, let's say you're selling um, a water bottle. You don't want the picture to product. You don't want the product to be like a person carrying a water bottle. And let's say it's a young woman and she's like dressed up like girly or something. Um, and let's say you want the water bottle to sell to everyone right you want the demographic to be to sell to everyone you don't want it to just sell like you don't want to take a picture with like some girl holding it because what if like an older guy wants to buy or like what if somebody that's not that person like not that type of like age range or something and they want that product what i've learned in business is um it strays away the customer from purchasing that product because they're going to form an opinion like okay, I can't relate to this product. Like I'm just using the water bottle as an example, but they're gonna think like, okay, I can't relate to this product. Or like, they're gonna form an opinion, like a biased opinion. And it's just kind of, you know, that's what I'm saying. That is why I say guys, that is why I'm sorry if that analogy is kind of like weird or something, but it was, it was this video that I've learned on this workshop. And it was basically saying like, you really want to keep your product simple. You really want to keep your background simple. 
it it just makes it easier for the customer it makes it easier to browse through your website um even for your instagram it doesn't have to be a white background as long as your product is the main image in the photo as long as that's the main subject you want to get the message across very quick and simple number six you guys be authentic you really want to be authentic with who you are with your business what is your backstory why did you want to get into selling makeup like what is it that made you want to start selling these paintings what what do you do um what's your story behind the paintings that you sell what's your story behind whatever it is that you're doing you really do stand out as a small business owner you really do will drive more sales i guarantee you like the minute you open up you know to who you are as a person to yourself and really put that through your content really put that through your instagram for your website that will really help there can be a hundred people if you sell lip gloss there can be a hundred other people selling lip gloss there can be so many people selling the same product with you but the minute you are authentic the minute you express and write down why you're selling this lip gloss why you are interested why you're invested into this why you like doing it we're most likely going to buy your product so guys my last and final tip number seven market yourself this is pretty much what i already went over um, but I do want to get a little bit more in touch about marketing. Marketing is becoming harder and it's becoming more competitive because there is so many people doing it, which is not bad at all. Just saying that there's more people growing more and more through the art community or just like small business owners. More and more people are getting into that. So really, you have to learn how to market yourself in a very savvy way way and a very creative way so and that works very well it works very well to drive sales to your business if you have like a edgy you know quirky way to market yourself um people are more likely going to buy your product because they all have to tie in with like relatability you know being relatable um feeling like it's personable put some humor in your marketing for example that works or um putting like just like being really creative marketing plays such a huge factor it is important because so much of your products that you sell a lot of marketing has to go into that hi guys i am so sorry for the sudden background change um this background change my footage got deleted that pretty much sums up with today's video um, I hope these seven tips were helpful or useful to you in any way. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me, follow me at Lady Picasso on my Twitter and my Instagram. If you want to check out my artwork, I have an online art shop at www.ladypicasso.com. I'm wishing you guys all the best for your own business to take off and thrive. 2020 is the year for small business owners. It is the year for entrepreneurs and taking charge. Okay, guys, don't forget that. Bye, guys.